All right. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take note from PDF within Emacs. Okay. So uh, in this demonstration purpose, uh, I'm running Emacs as GUI. Okay. That means I'm running the Emacs GUI version. Okay. To without further ado, let me get into. I'm looking at a PDF uh, in this PDF, and it has always got a, this problem. I don't know why. Hang on a minute. Okay, so uh, say I'm looking at this PDF and for some reason i want to take a note of something because i'm running the gui version of emacs at this moment so i can use my mouse so if i select something on the pdf say for instance this paragraph and all i have to do i have to call the or capture template by pressing ctrl c and c see it come up it uh, the, the capture menu has come up and out of this listing because i am capturing note from pdf so it has a designated key as you can see clearly which is bounded to p if i press p see the capture template is filled with the text what i have selected in the pdf okay so this buffer is already get filled in with the selected text okay and the cursor is sitting there to provide the headline of this note so you can write anything this is a note from pdf something like that more so once you are done, as usual, you can press Control C, Control C to save this note to notes file. Okay, it's a super handy thing. Okay, so I'm dismissing this because I'm not going to save this note. Control C, Control K to dismiss it. So all say. I'm saying again, say if you are seeing a PDF inside Emacs GUI version and if you want to take some note out of that PDF, all you have to do to select the particular text and call up the org capture uh, template which provide you an uh, option. In that case, I have a piece of code in my dot emacs file which will integrate it in the capture template which will provide you a key bind once you press in my case it is p as i shown to you so it will provide you the buffer with the capped highlighted text in it okay to show you again the same thing just watch carefully so if i go to some other page say meta g and g and if I go to the page 35, any random page. And here, if I select something with the mouse, say this thing, any arbitrary text, okay? And then I press Control C and C. It brings up the org capture template. And out of this listing, you can see I need to press P. Once I press P, the highlighted text get pasted on this empty capture buffer and the cursor is waiting in the heading so you have to give appropriate head give appropriate heading to this capture note okay and then you have to do standard control c control c to save it to the note file okay so it's so the basic idea is that so if you want to capture something from the pdf as a note you can do so within Emacs GUI version. Okay, so the piece of code which has to be inducted inside your .emacs or .init.yl file 
okay whatever the file you use for emacs initialization this piece of code should be there let me show you how the code look like mm, here is the code uh, this is the code so this piece of code I have highlighted the code this piece of code has to be in your emacs initialization file whether it's dot emacs or init.tl doesn't matter but it should be your initialization file so it get initialized when emacs start right so you can ease it on capture template easily likewise once this code is inducted then you have to make an entry in the template like this let me highlight it for you you see i have highlighted highlighted this two line this two line has to be inducted in all capture template which will provide you the p option to capture notes from pdf okay this this two line plus the other code section i have shown to you which has to be in your dot max file this is a super handy thing so we we see a lot of a lot of uh, stuff in pdf right and you can easily capture the capture the information from pdf to your note file so i do it personally i do this kind of stuff when i uh, when i see this kind of pdf inside emacs gui version gui environment rather i i use the i capture notes like this so i bring it up intentionally if if it might help someone to induct in their their workflow okay so thanks for watching